The sounds of burgos pervaded the rather usually quiet Bundibujo town as hundreds of residents lined up the streets to witness a landmark event, the first ever Renzori Civil Society Fair to be organized by a host of civil society organizations and Bundibujo district local government. The fair was organized under the theme Strengthening Peace and Unity for Sustainable Regional Development. The fair that took place from 26th to 28th of September 2012 was such a landmark as it was not only taking place in Bundibujo for the first time, but it also came at the time when Uganda was preparing to mark 50 years of independence. The Civil Society Fair was attended by network organizations under NGO Forum and other participants from the private sector who had come to exhibit their products. The fifth edition of the Renzori Region Civil Society Organizations Fair kicked off on 26 September 2012 in high gears as the Central Organizing Committee members traveled to Bundibujo District to join the district local government organizers at the source. With a lot of excitement, the members engaged in the preparatory meetings, bull roasting, confirming accommodation, ensuring tents are raised among others. With the RDC of Shieting as the chief guest on 26th September, the eve of the fair, participants were treated to a candlelight ceremony as a remembrance of the souls lost due to HIV AIDS and a call to the participants that the fight against HIV AIDS still continues. The development actors, who also comprise the national civil society organizations like International Alert, Deniva, NGO Forum engaged in a charitable activity of painting the children's ward at Bundibujo Hospital. The ward, which was in dire need of a facelift, was also found to be overcrowded with some of the sick children sleeping on the floor. The actors promised the administrators that they would discuss with government on the possibilities of decongesting the ward. To us as uh, uh, the civil society, painting of uh, the pediatric ward is a signal that you are passing to the rest of the country about the importance the civil society attaches on health, especially the health of the children. Ugandan people and the policy makers must see that uh, the health of the Ugandan people is of paramount importance. It was also discovered that Bundibujo Hospital, which was built with a bed capacity of 120 in 1969, currently accommodates over 300 patients, excluding the outpatients. The administrators, led by Manzi Edmund, appealed for increased government funding. After the cleaning of Bundibujo Hospital, there was marching throughout Bundibujo town that also attracted a very big crowd from all corners. In his opening remarks, the director, Kabarole Research and Resource Center, who is also chairperson of the Renzori Association of NGOs and Networks, Mr. Julius Mwanga, appreciated the solidarity by the regional partners in organizing the civil society fair and the overwhelming support, both financially and materially. I also take this opportunity to welcome our colleagues from Kampala who have sacrificed their time to join us the team from Deniva, the team from the National NGO Forum, and International Alert, you are very much welcome. We equally appreciate the solidarity shown by other regional partners in organizing this civil society fair, and the overwhelming support, both financially and materially. There was also a high-level meeting of regional local council leaders under their association, the Development Leadership Group, DLG. 
The leaders were meeting to discuss the rolling out of the recently launched Renzori Regional Development Framework. While addressing the DLG meeting, the chairperson of the Renzori MPs Forum, Honorable Alex Ruhunda, called for consensus building among the leaders and the architects of the regional framework led by Kabarole Research and Resource Center, SNV and HIVOS, so as to harmonize the district's plans and pillars of the framework. The regional framework seeks to harness efforts of development actors to avoid duplication of services and create a united front to tackle household poverty. I take this opportunity to officially launch a very important working strategic plan by the names of Ruenzori Regional Development Framework 2012-2017. Congratulations to the Ruenzori Fraternity for having this very important document. Thank you very much all who have come to witness this happen. The fire that attracted leading anti-corruption crusaders like the retired assistant bishop of Kampala, Dr. Zak Nyiringie, had a nerve-wracking dialogue on corruption and assessing the academic performance and service delivery in universal primary education schools in Bundibujo district. Leaders create environments. Leaders create culture. So here is my point. The leadership in Wundibujo is failing in Wundibujo. Elsie Fai Chair, I'd like to ask you going forward, call for a meeting of your political leaders, of the head teachers, of the religious leaders. Ask, what should we do about teenage pregnancy in Wundibujo? Because Wundibujo girls have no future. Why they are getting pregnant to worry. But I give you another reason. Good with your girls don't stay in the school. The discussion on food security mainly tackled the looming food security crisis in Bundibujo and the urgent need to address the issue. A presentation on food security was made by Kerasis Biarhanga area and discussed by SNV's Felix Kazahura. Current families are fed by women. The role of feeding a household is the role of a man. If we as men have failed to feed our families, we still provide the gold. Day. There was also the official launching of the granary, Enguli, to symbolize the need for food security. As the fair drew to a close, there was the official launching of the e-society for Bundibuju, the electronic society, which aims at supporting Bundibuju district staff with internet and computer training, is a brainchild of Renzori Information Center's network, RICNET. The executive secretary of the Uganda Communications Commission, engineer Godfrey Mutabazi, launched the network. Mm -hmm.